I have a monitor here that will not degauss itself. Now, um, a lot of people pronounce it degauss, but it's really, you should really pronounce it degauss. Now, a gauss is a measurement of magnetism. Um, magnets is measured in gausses. So what happens is, my there's a metal screen behind it. That's why they call it a screen. There's a metal screen inside this tube, okay? And what happens is, um, it will get magnetized. And it will um, move the electron beams uh, slightly one direction or the other, which changes the color. Now, inside every tube, every color tube, there's three guns, okay? Red, green, and blue. Now, those three guns are electrically identical to each other. There is, they are no different, except for one thing. The position of those tubes, one's over here, one's in the middle, and one's on this side. This is on the back of the tube, okay? Now, <clears throat> there's a screen, kind of like a screen door, that goes goes on the inside of this tube, okay? And there's phosphorus on the, uh, on the glass. And the phosphorus is doped with different chemicals. Now, when, and when the electron hits the phosphorus coating, it, it causes the phosphorus to glow. Well, depending, depending what the phosphorus is doped with, it will either glow red, green, or blue. Now, uh, now a lot of times you can actually look look closely you can actually see uh, red green and blue lines because it's literally sprayed all inside this okay and that screen will only let the red gun hit the red the green hit the green the blue hit the blue uh, <clears throat> anyways my problem right now is the screen is slightly magnetized and uh, you can degauss a screen with a degauss wand looks like a steering wheel now basically what this is is it's a, a giant coil of wire basically all it is now all monitors have a degauss uh, cable a degauss it, it have their own degaussing wand built in any any color tube usually has it and <clears throat> now the the one built in isn't always adequate to degauss whatever you have. Sometimes the the metal frame on the outside has been magnetized. Sometimes this and, and here's another issue. Sometimes the screen inside the tube is warped, which that which that happens if you drop the tube. Uh, there's there's a lot of different factors, or sometimes there's a resistor inside the chassis itself that if it has failed, and you might need to replace some parts for your degaussing wand, your built-in degaussing wand to actually work. Now, <clears throat> let me let me tell you guys a trick. Right here, I have a plain old uh, jumper. Okay. Now it's it, it's easiest to degauss your monitor when you have a solid color on your screen. Now this is a uh, Stargate and this just happens to have a setting where I can make a solid color. But if your game does not have any settings what you can do is you can ground this on somewhere on your chassis and then this side there's th there should be three transistors on your neck board. If you were to connect this to the top of one of your transistors, your screen will be solid red, solid green, or solid blue, depending on which transistor you grabbed. So that way you can, you can, it's easier to tell what's going on here with all this crap. Okay, well, what that'll do is it'll turn your gun completely on, which is, you know, kind of what you want, so you can at least have one gun on. But, okay... With this degauss wand, uh, right now I have this is kind of a homemade thing I made. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it power. You know, I'm going to back the camera off a little bit. 
Let me move this sucker back. It's a little better. Okay. Now, there's different different rules of thumb, what everybody says. What I, what I do is, I kind of just do whatever feels right. <laughs> I'll do it and I'll back it out. You can't damage it anymore. But some people say to go in a circle as you come out. I'm just going to hit it like this and come out. We'll see what happens. Okay, I got it on. I'm going to back it out. And there we go. Simple as that. Done. Now I suppose you could... Oh, also, see how I have it on right now? If I turn it off right here, I screwed everything up. Oh no, it's ruined, right? That's why you turn it on and you slowly back it out and off. Now, like I said before, some people say, oh, you gotta go in circles. You don't have to. You can. But, there it is. Now, what this did is, it created magnetic fields pulsating in, in uh, different directions, which uh, demagnetized my screen inside my tube. So, that's, uh, that's what you do. Now, uh, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna grab some parts and I'm going to show you guys how to make your own degaussing wand. I figured I'd at least show you guys the game working first. Stargate. But yeah, after I messed with it, that's you know at least you know it still works. Well, I grabbed a monitor from outside. Yes, I have monitors laying in my yard. Um. <clears throat> And what I want to show you is, um, right here, you see this cable? Go, usually they go around, around the, uh, around the back of the tube. That is your degauss coil that's built into your monitor, okay? And I just happen to have one hanging here. I, I think that came out of the, uh, 4600. Now, what you could do is, now, okay, you can use this, but this, but this will heat up. What you want to do is you want to get a switch and hook that right into the wall. A switch, a button preferably, so you can quickly hit it and then slowly back out. Okay, because if you do it any more than like I don't know, thirty seconds, it will get so hot that you can barely handle it. But there is another way around this. If you get uh, three of these and connect them together, okay, I got a piece of paper out. Um, basically, um, that degauss uh, wand is a coil of wires. Okay. Now, if you're to get three of them um, from from three of the same models monitors and then connect that to your AC then you won't it won't overheat and you'll basically make your own degauss wand but uh, just to show now one of these connected to AC would be just fine but you can't use it for very long but just to show proof of concept let me show you one working okay no in order for me to degauss this I gotta screw it up right so I got this magnet right here it's a neodymium just kinda kinda stick it somewhere If I can mess it up, geez. Let's mess something up. There we go. That's pretty screwed up, right? Okay, so what I did is I uh, kind of just got an old stereo cord and this old uh, degauss coil. And now I just folded it over. So I kind of have it like that, right? 
So let me stick this in here. So even you can do this at home. Okay, so I'm gonna plug this in. Oh, let me plug it into the wall. Complicated, complicated. Hold on, let me turn, pause this. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of temporarily plug this into here. I'm gonna kind of hold this here and plug the sucker in. There it is. Just made a degauss coil out of a degauss coil that's already in a monitor. So, maybe that'll help you guys out. Uh, you don't have to. You don't have to make your own fancy degauss cable or buy one. But uh, it comes in handy, especially if you're, if you're an arcade collector. But uh, also keep in mind, the ones you tear out of a monitor... They're only designed to be used for, oh, 30 seconds tops. So they get hot. You don't, you don't want to, you don't want to just keep screwing with this thing forever. You'll end up, end up burning yourself. But, uh, yeah, that's, uh, hopefully everything you might need to know about degaussing monitors. You know what? We're not done yet. I want to tell you this. Um, this is that monitor I just took from outside. It's covered in snow. Lots of snow. Anyways, uh, <coughs> if, uh, if your game doesn't actually have a screen, of a, a solid screen, what you can do is get your clips, clip it to a ground somewhere, and, uh, clip it to these, there's, there's usually three transistors on a neck board. Clip it to one of those. And that'll give you a solid color. But, uh, yeah, so that'll help you out. Uh, if you guys like arcade stuff, subscribe.